Hold on. Back up lightly. Can you see me? Town. When I go like town, when I go like this. So I do believe that is spaced enough. And does it get our tongue into the driveway? Yes, it does. Bam. That's exactly where we were when we came late at night. You're about to mooch dock. <laughs> You're I always, ever since I mooch dock over Ron and Darcy's house. Yeah. When we left South Carolina, I always wanted to do it again. Mooch dock can help you get from one destination to the next. So. And how much does it cost? zero well we have been blessed to be able to do it so we are very thankful and honored that we're able to do it and it also helps because the gas prices are extremely high and as you know the park prices are high too and guys what's so good about it our friend not even home but he trusts us to come and park our camper he's at work right now he said go ahead help yourself stop over if you, if you get tired so, thank you. Over. Yep. Thank you, Bob. Coco. <laughs> hey Hello. Coco. Hi. Hey. Oh, we decided to come out to eat. That's the benefit of when you moose docking. You can go out to eat. <laughs> go out to eat too, because you're not at the campground, you don't have to cook. <laughs> so you guys probably gonna remember Bob and Coco from last week's video. And Bob is actually playing at our glamp out, the saxophone. But the guy with the jaws. He goes under R.C. Smith. R.C. Smith. Yeah. And company. And, and company. company. Okay. I'm R.C. Smith, Smith y'all company. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we can get a shot up there to sing. Oh, no. Yeah, 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 yeah. I will clear everybody be like, oh, time to go to yep, the yep. I, I agree. <laughs> they will. <laughs> you know, hey, then they start taking that. money from right. you. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, or or I'll just take the shrimp that I think I'm gonna eat. That way I don't touch it again. Okay. Yeah. Right, cool. Yeah. But it's, 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 see, there's two forks yep. in here. You so. use that other fork that you haven't touched on the plate. Right. And so one fork is for dipping into Absolutely. the thing, and the other one's for eating. Absolutely. Okay, we're on the same yeah. page. Then. All right. Cool. Uh, typically, I will also so. have the sauce on my plate, so I'm not. Double dip yeah, 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 okay. Like Alright, cool. So we're on the same page. Yeah. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> so they're gonna share some shrimp so they're <laughs> they going over the rules how they, how they should eat the shrimp. <laughs> you gotta have the ground rules, man. Everybody knows that. It's just like you don't like your food to touch or you don't Yeah, where your You don't food. like your food touching either? You like your food touching? No, man, I don't like it touching. You food. eat them at the diff at different times? No, I don't like separate. it touching, man. My dad, when I was little, yeah, always said he's going to get me one of them army God. plates with the dividers in it so oh, my really? food didn't touch. Oh, wow. Oh, I don't like it touching. But wait a minute, there's a guy that also watches our channel. We uh, met him like two years ago. He can't have his food touch at all. Well, or see, if mine touches a little bit, I can move it apart no, and I'm okay. It can't. But okay. I don't like it touching. Hey, and so when you eat it, you got to eat one all at once? Yeah, like if go I to, eat all my fish, it? I'll eat all my fish, then and I'll eat all my vegetables. I don't switch back and forth. <laughs> <laughs> once I start eating my vegetables, I don't mess with the fish no more. <laughs> and then once I eat the fish, I don't mess with the vegetables no more. I always eat one thing at a time. Oh, really? Do you do that? No, I don't, oh, you do don't that. Do I just don't want it to touch. I, I don't mind that. Oh, you, you don't mind my touch son. Oh, your son. Okay. Oh, no, no I can't have stuff touching. So what you do about... Do you eat potatoes and gravy? 
No. It's not because I don't. They're touching. I just don't like potatoes. Okay. Yeah, I don't, I'm not a big potato. Do you person. eat hamburgers and ketchup? Yeah, but that's one thing in my mind. That's a thing. Like stew is one thing to me. Even though it's multiple parts, stew is one thing. But I'll eat all the potatoes first, then I'll eat all the carrots, then I'll eat the meat. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, you guys, we, we, we can't make this up. <laughs> it's yeah. his preference. Yeah. It's his preference. I don't care. You know, it don't matter to me. I don't have to eat off my plate the way I look at it, you know. So, you, how you want to eat? Now, my dad's the exact opposite. He'll have all his stuff touching and mixing and eating all together. So, he said it all goes down the same pipe. So, if she, if she got something that look good on her plate, you won't go like this and just... Oh, no. No? No. No. Oh, no. no. Oh, no. And then she better not do that to my plate or you'll end up with four stab wounds in the back of your head. <laughs> no, man. Don't be reaching across my plate now. So she not able to taste nothing? No, no. Even, it... even with a clean fork, I'm like, no, it's a no. No? With a clean fork? Clean no. fork is a no. Now, only thing we'll do is if it first gets here, I might take some off with my fork and yeah. put it on her plate. Oh. But she can't use her fork to but dig in my plate. But what if your fork, when you put it on her plate, your fork touch her plate? I'd make sure it don't. <laughs> Either that or I'll switch forks, man. <laughs> Either that or I'll switch forks. <laughs> That fork is contaminated from okay, now on. Okay, okay. <laughs> what if she never touches her plate when you do that and her fork, your fork still touches her plate? That would bother me. Yeah, I don't know what I would do under that exact <laughs> scenario, but I don't like it. I just make sure, because I would usually take two forks and kind of dump it like a dump truck and keep oh. on going so it don't touch. <laughs> it don't touch. I don't like that. Mm -mm. Yeah, that's crazy. Man, I thought it shot you in the <laughs> This is comical. Uh. <laughs>
there's pavilions everywhere around this park so if you got a cabin you want to barbecue you with a group of people you're more than welcome to barbecue in this pavilion here if you want to or you can barbecue right at your cabin so there's a pavilion there's a fire pit as well also you got a cabin and you got a family member that got an rv who's coming to the glamp out there is sites right across from the cabin so you don't have to be in the mix of things you can actually hang out with your own family or your friends back in the cabinet section so there's rv sites but these rv sites is only water and electric so it's your choice and here's the pond right across there's the pond right across here and there are fish in this pond they have they have fishing tournaments sometimes and whoever catches the most fish get a prize so you can get photogenic over here So I just wanted to give you a view of the pool that is here at the Cardinal Campground. They do not have a hot tub, but the swimming pool is heated and it's indoors. So, what do you think about the Brooklyn bedding? It, it has been a month now since we had it. Yep. So, update on this. Um, as you can see, I'm smiling. And it takes a lot for me to smile, especially uh, when I get um, extremely hot a lot of times. But I look forward to laying my head down on this pillow. I look forward to laying down on this mattress because it is so cooling. So let me tell you the story that just took place this weekend. I woke up cold and the room temperature was around 68. 68. Mm -hmm. So, and that's, um, that's kind of chilly, chilly, right? Yeah. So when I had, and it wasn't the air conditioning at, at all. But when I had um, this pillow in, I was on um, the sheet, the mattress, I woke up cold. So I kept telling Talmadge, like, Talmadge, you keep taking the covers from me because I kept waking up cold. So that lets me know that this cools down your body. If I wanted a fan when it was 68 uh, degrees that meant that it was doing the job because I like the temperature to be around 63 when I'm sleeping that's too cold I think but it's comfortable I like I, I like the 73 temperature but even he has been sleeping longer in the bed so yes yeah yeah let me tell I'm you an guys, early bird <laughs> yes and we were at a campground and someone asked me where was how much I was like he's still in the bed I didn't want to say he was still in a bed because of the Brooklyn mattress he's falling in love with it but now I just let everybody know. It was because of this mattress. It's very comfortable. It's very, you feel like you're sleeping on a- A pillow. Pillow at all times. Like the bed is is basically a yes. pillow. You yes. sleep it on a big it's pillow. It's extremely um, comforting and you feel like you're just, you know, you're, you're just having a very good rest. And I love 
just fill in the pillow because you feel the cool gel and everything like that. And when I say it's a cool gel, feel this, you guys. Feel it. I'm going to feel it for them. Oh, it's so cool. It is a cool gel. It is nice. See? Yeah. So, shout out to Brooklyn Bedding. Thank you for allowing us to try this out for you. We're going to keep trying things out, though. Yes. This isn't... This isn't the end of all be all because guess what? We're finding out that should we have gone firm, firm, or should we have gone medium, medium? Yeah. So we picked the medium. We're thinking maybe we should have gone firm. So we may be trying that mattress out. As well as how about a memory foam pillow? See how yeah. that works out. Yeah, because typically a memory foam pillow is for someone that likes to lay on their side. Because it's a high-profile pillow. This is a low-profile pillow. This right here. Yeah. What we got. I so lay, I lay on my back. And see, I lay on my side. You do? So, mm -hmm. there's a lot of people that That's probably why my ways. hair falling out in the back, back here. Because I'm pulling <laughs> over here? No, because be. I lay on my back. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought he was talking about something that I was possibly doing. <laughs> but anyway, I like it. Uh, so, so, guys, yeah. if you are interested in the Brooklyn Mattress... Um, our link to this mattress will be in the description box. Um, shout out to Brooklyn Mattress yeah. for making an a awesome mattress. Yeah, they and, and they stand behind their word. Great customer service. Thank you. Along with their warranty, a 10-year warranty. Or is it a 5-year warranty? Huh? It's the 10-year warranty. It's a 10-year Yeah. You, you schooled me on that one. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> guys we are back at our favorite rv campground which is in ohio which is atwood lake park this is our site we are in full glamping mode you can see the lake in the distance all the lake sites was taken already so we had to get what we could which is a very nice site look at this site there's concrete everywhere. And you see here, we got Metro RV here. We got a call from a couple of our friends that wanted us to come out and hang out with them. So here we are, we got Land and Sea here from Michigan. You got a couple different RV groups here. Hello. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we got another group, but I'm not sure what their name is. I think it's Lake Airy, Lake Airy RVers here as well. Now you're gonna go. Now it's a huge one. All right, y'all got everybody looking for these bikes. Hey, hey, you know what? They're trying to pull these bikes up. Uh, of course, Craig and Tracy here. Terry and Tom is here. Um, Justice and Crystal is supposed to be coming. It's like our welcome home. Welcome home. We're glad your bandits are back. take this opportunity to give a shout out to this week's sponsor guys we need sponsors we found that out and we found it out the hard way because we do we do a lot of traveling and with all these travels that we get we're not funded and you know we go to these different campgrounds we show you all these beautiful places like this here give you ideas a place to visit but we need sponsors in order to keep this up. So, shout out to New Air. New Air sent us this very nice dual compartment cooler. All right. With this cooler, let me show you guys something. 
this cooler here we've been using for the last two days we actually been keeping our beverages in here for the last two days but before the last two days we have been keeping our food in here if you go back to our previous videos you will see that in our videos I, I was always complaining about our residential refrigerator that's in our RV is not staying charged it's not cooling off the food my battery is is dying so the problem that we have we can't keep it we can't keep on uh, the refrigerator going so check this out they sent us this cooler is is a dual compartment this is actually supposed to be the freezer and it's supposed to be the refrigerator area but actually i've been using them both for freezer because we have food in here but check this out look how cold this thing is this water bottle is frozen cold stiff all right, and I got it over here. I should take it out of this side. I should make this side more of a refrigerator side and this side more of a freezer side. Cold beer. But let me show you the specs on this. This is a 12 volt cooler. Um, it's dual compartments. It has a display screen, if you can see it. Uh, you can turn it up. If you see it, this is the freezer side right now it's getting 14 volts this is the refrigerator side it has a usb port and it has a bottle opener the good thing about this cooler it is on wheels so we can um, roll it anywhere we're going to go but let me tell you this cooler is not like all the other coolers when i say it's not like all the other coolers this is like a real cooler refrigerator because why is it like a real cooler refrigerator is because right here see this compartment we don't have a battery they didn't send us a battery you can put a battery here from my understanding this battery lasts for 15 hours but if you don't but the the, the, the thing about it you can actually charge this battery all right you can charge this battery you can charge this cooler four different ways you can charge it with this battery you can use a solar panel it has a solar panel outlet here um, you can plug it in like we got it right now we got it plugged in or you can plug it into your ash well when you're driving you can put it into your the cigarette lighter so it, it, it got both dc and ac ways of charging it but anyway if you are interested in the new air, our link will be in the description box. Thanks for sitting through this. We appreciate you and you will appreciate this new air refrigerator. watching our friends leave yeah we got a little train going on they waiting for the other two it's a caravan yeah. caravan of class airs class airs <laughs> see even though we talk about you guys you still come out and hang out with us that's cool that's cool <laughs> no hard feelings that's right <laughs> they are outside <laughs> 